Hello ladies and welcome to this clown's garage. In this video I will talk about drive shafts. My favorite subject. Maybe because I'm Greek. Well, in, in, anyway. This one here is aluminum drive shaft. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that aluminum drive shafts uh, give you more power and, you know, they can handle a lot of horsepower. Well, yes and no. This is a stock one. A stock aluminum drive shaft is thinner and weaker than the performance ones. So, this won't handle a lot of horsepower at all. So be careful with that. We just start putting slicks on a car and it grabs, uh, you know, th this will twist up like a pretzel. Uh, aluminum also has a... Uh, there's a bird in here. I don't know if you guys can see him. Hi, birdie. There's a bird in my garage. I'm going to get him later. <laughs> That's fun. Alright, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, by shaft. Alright. Uh, now if you go higher horsepower... Oh, what I was saying was... These have... Uh, these reach their critical speed... Um, much faster. Which means... Uh, they're going to start vibrating and, and break quicker. Uh, that's why sometimes these vibrate soon... Um, you hear a lot of people saying that drive shafts, the aluminum drive shafts, vibrate when, um, when they're driving. That's because they, they reach their uh, vibration frequency much sooner, their natural frequency. All right, now, if you go to an uh, aftermarket aluminum drive shaft, they are much thicker and uh, have, you know, they, they have their own problems because uh, then, then they don't clear um, your drive shaft loops like this one didn't. And I had another one, it was, I had like about a three, three and a half, I think three inch drive shaft, this is about, I would say, maybe two and a half. Um, that also rubbed on my uh, loop. Uh, n now you're asking me if you want to know why there's a loop, why you would have a loop around these things, because uh, if this breaks, and say it breaks in the front, as you're going down, say the drag strip, it, it'll fall on the floor, it could catapult and cat catapult your car, or it could go inside your, freak, your, uh, your body and ruin things, or even take you out take a leg out or whatever. So you would want to put uh, drive shaft loops on here. Um, I'll put one in the front and one in the back. In any case, um, like I said, if you go to uh, high performance drive shaft aluminum, they become much thicker. Now, if the best drive shaft you could get is a carbon fiber drive shaft. They have a higher critical speed and they uh, actually could absorb two more times the twist as a uh, aluminum drive shaft. Now, say you have slicks in the car, you're launching it, say, say a 500, you have 500 horse, you're launching it, the car pulls its wheels up, whatever have you. These undergo a certain amount of flex and twist. Uh, the carbon fiber could withstand two times that amount. That's also another reason why a lot of uh, high horsepower cars use carbon fiber drive shafts. Also, when, they, uh, when a carbon fiber breaks, it brooms up. So it's, you're not going to have any of those issues you're going to have with uh, chrome molly or uh, aluminum drive shaft. And uh, I think that's all I have to say about this. And thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this uh, clown's uh, channel. And if you like this, uh, this video, please also hit the like button. Thank you, and have a great day. Also, please come again.